the top 5 games to play when you're depressed. Number 1. Duke Nukem 3D This game is a classic 3D shooter and sometimes when you're down in the dumps, doing something somewhat mindless with a very forced pinch of thought is just what the Pixel Doctor ordered. People talk about how GoldenEye is one of the greatest first person shooters ever and yeah it's really fun but it's aged, well, quite terribly. Duke Nukem 3D, however, is still very playable and the graphics, for some gritty reason, don't annoy people that much. In fact, when the HD versions of the game came out, a lot of people, myself included, didn't really enjoy the look of it and so went back to the original edition of the game. Shooting pig cops, spewing ridiculous one-liners, pressing the spacebar to get a look at tasseled boobies and firing RPGs all over the place whilst downing steroids. Now that's a video game to help you stop giving a damn for a little while. Number 2. Pokemon Silver Pokemon Silver is my favourite of all the handheld Pokemon games, and while you could apply any of the games to this list, I'm going to stick with this one. When you're feeling depressed, having the willpower or desire to do anything other than sink low and stay stagnant can be very hard. You need a game that offers a bit of variety, a colourful palette with cute creatures and some cool 8-bit music. If you throw in some story, some grinding that ends up becoming an enjoyable fixation as you make your party grow more powerful, then you've got a game that helps occupy your time without being something that requires deep meaningful commitments but still provide you with substance. Number 3. Deadpool Fed up with serious games where gameplay is nothing more than roaming around hoping to unlock the mysteries of nothing but invent your own entertainment? Sick of the same old brown and grey shooters clogging up your shelf? Feeling really down in the dumps and needing to do something that demands your fingers complete attention won't patronise or punish you, offers random homage varieties of gameplay and to top it all off introduces a character that talks to you and provides you with funny scenes and batshit plans, then I'll just leave this here. Oh, I love old 8-bit games! Yeah, we do too. This game isn't old. Or 8-bit moron. Hey dummy, in old school games, you gotta find the key to continue. Hey, look at the boner over here! You said boner! <laughs> If I cut Four. Left. Four dead. One of the biggest bummers that accompanies depression is the feeling of loneliness. Gaming can bring people together and one of the best games for doing this is Left 4 Dead. You can play this with friends you already know or you can play it and make more friends. Help each other out, be helped, have your back covered as you and three other players try to survive from one safe house to the next. It's crazy, it's frantic, it's bloody and it's all about teamwork. When you think that you're alone, being part of a team where the goal is mutual and the hacking of overweight smelly zombies is tag teamed can brighten up your evening. Number 5. Beat Buddy. This is a fairly new game that is currently available on Steam and other platforms and is one of the best times and privileges I've had this year as a gamer slash budding unpaid hold journalist was reviewing and playing it. I did a review and you can find a link for it in this description and that tells you a bit more about the game. But the main reason I picked this is, as an aid for those horrible days when depression is being a complete douche, this game isn't just beautifully lush and vibrant, stocked with lovable characters and really fun with interactive game mechanics, it's the music. 
I haven't played a game before where the music was this integral and symbiotic to not only the game but to the player. I found myself bopping along, moving different parts of my body that I didn't know move that way while playing the game, even when traversing tricky obstacles. There's something about it, something that makes you really smile, even when you think that today is a day of no smiles. If you feel blue, then this blue guy will help perk you up a bit. Plus, all the shoulder bopping I've done whilst playing this game has an added advantage of giving me some buff shoulders.